Hey y'all, Tom, ND3 here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about the Grid Tracker map display. This is the first of three videos about Grid Tracker. Uh, the first, this one, will look at the map. Uh, the second will go through the settings, and the third will look at the control panel and the options available there. I've included links to each of these videos in the video description. The reason I'm doing three videos instead of just combining all the information into one is because a video with all of the information would be very long. And I thought you'd appreciate having it broken down into more digestible parts. Hey, you're welcome. Let me know in the comments if you prefer it this way. Uh, I can go either way. Much of the information presented has a large crossover between these subjects, but between the three videos just about everything will be covered. As always, if you have a specific question that you can't figure out, ask it down in the comment section. If I don't know the answer, I'll find the answer for you and reply. Uh, by the way, this video is from the 10,000 foot uh, view. Uh, I have included the link to the gridtracker.org wiki, uh, which will explain everything in much greater detail. So if you see something that piques your interest during this video, but you want more information, or didn't understand what I said, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you just said. First shot should be the wiki. Then go ahead and shoot a comment to me and I'll try to figure it out. What you're seeing on your screen right now is my normal operating setup when I'm playing with FT8 and FT4. You can see that I have WSJTX running uh, and my HRD logbook. I also usually stick Grid Tracker right up in here. Uh, but our focus for this video is Grid Tracker, so I'll go ahead and expand that and take a moment uh, to ask you to take a moment and give me a like by popping that thumbs up icon. Uh, most of this information did come from gridtracker.org wiki and I put a link down in the video description. That said, a lot of information came from additional research that I've done and things that I found while just playing around. Uh, the grid tracker map shows you the grid status for as much or as little of the world as you choose. You can enlarge it uh, or shrink it using these uh, controls up here in the upper right corner, plus or minus. You can also scroll your map, uh, just scroll your uh, mouse wheel and zoom in or zoom out. And you can click on your mouse wheel and center whatever you want to be centered. And there, that looks good. The map filters right over here, and this whole area is uh, part of the control panel, but your map filters uh, show four different options, each with multiple sub-options. And th that defines the overlay on your map. Um, setting it to auto shows the grid status of your uh, current band selection. So this is, uh, I'm on the 20 meter band and I'm looking at FT8. So this is uh, the live activity. You see I've got live down here, activity, and we'll change that up as we go. But live activity uh, for the 20 meter band and you could also choose mixed, uh, which is going to bring up uh, uh, all my bands, the live activity on all my bands, uh, or you can pick a specific band. So if I want to see what was going on down at 40, I could do that. And you can see nothing's going on at 40. Uh, probably a bad choice. Uh, let's try 15, see if we got anything happening there. Nope. So back to 20. This is, this is if you just select 20 and it's the same as if you'd done auto because I'm set to 20. 
the mode selector uh, again I have it set to auto which means it's only looking for FT8 however I could go mixed which would tell me FT8 and FT4 stuff that's happening and uh, I can also go digital which would show me any digital thing that's that's happening that that map trackers uh, grid tracker is picking up uh, I like to leave it in auto propagation uh, I would strongly recommend you leave this in mixed because uh, you've got about uh, 16 different types of uh, propagation you could focus in. You could go sporadic E or you could select the EME if you're doing moon bounce. Leave it in mixed and you'll get everybody. The data selector allows you to cycle through three options. Live data, which is where we're set right now, shows you the current activity on uh, your, your map uh, as modified by your band mode and propagation settings. Uh, the logbook selection, and you get this by just clicking through, logbook is going to show you all of the uh, all of the again 40 meter FT8 grids that I have confirmed and logbook and live combines them and you'll you'll get uh, additional things here and we'll talk about the additional stuff that you get uh, momentarily you promise I promise let me draw your attention to the Grid Tracker Map Legend. That's right down here in the corner. You can turn the legend on or off in the control panel, or you can change any of these colors to suit your preference in the settings. Uh, we'll discuss both of those when we get to those videos. The legend uses standard Q codes, and you re can refer to the wiki link uh, in the description for a full description. I'm not going to cover all of these, but let's take a look at a couple of them. Uh, QSO in yellow indicates that I have uh, made a contact and QSL highlights uh, uh, there. Uh, uh, QTH shows where my location is. It's the orange one and it's right here. I'm up uh, in southwest Ohio. And finally uh, CQ shows uh, which grids where there is one or more stations calling CQ. So you can see these greens here. Stations are calling CQ there. When you see a split that means that uh, you got uh, multiple things happening there. For instance, down here, uh, south of Los Angeles, I have uh, worked that, so it's yellow, and somebody's calling CQ from there, so it's showing the green. Uh, and that's a quick tour of the map. The next video in this series will start where this one leaves off, and we'll take a look at the settings options available to you. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat about the grid tracker map window. Uh, my goal for videos uh, was to give you enough information to get you on grid tracker and begin to play. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I learn more by doing things than by reading about things. So I hope that I have encouraged you to take this opportunity to download and fire up grid tracker and put it to use by the way there's a download link uh, down in the video description now if you find something i haven't covered here uh, while using grid tracker please leave a comment if you found this video useful or just enjoyed watching it uh, please give me a like by popping that thumbs up icon thank you and please share this video with friends who may appreciate and enjoy the content also, please consider subscribing. As always, I'm Tom, ND3N, and I'm at your service. 7-3 for now. I'm out.